hey guys so it's been a while that ios 17.4 is out so in this video i'm going to talk about ios 17.4 also i will discuss some of the important things about the ios 17.4.1 that is going to launch very soon that is also confirmed but before that i want to talk about two important things that you guys are asking in the comment section below and that is you guys are asking about this cover that what that cover is from where you got this cover so this is apple silicon case you can get it from the apple.com it is available it looks really cool i really like it and also some of you asking about this wallpaper that looks really dope i clicked that wallpaper so it is not available on the internet it is uh, obviously i clicked this so it, you can get this wallpaper from me so what you need to do is simply go to x follow me at the ios guy 101 if you want to follow you can follow you just need to dm me and i will send you wallpaper that's it very simple now let's talk about ios 17.4 starting with the performance so i am a bit not satisfied with the performance there are some issues going on with the performance but before that let's talk about the geekman score so i did geekman score today going into cpu benchmark going into cpu history so this is today's 12th march as you can see this is the latest Geekman score running iOS 17.4, 2305 on single core, 5718 on a multi-core. Now it is a bit a downgrade from the last one. So over here on the 8th March, four days ago, I did a benchmark run again running iOS 17.4, 2351 on single core, 5835 on multi-core. And as you can see, the the previous test is much better than the latest test so which means there are some little bit ups and downs in the performance there are a couple of app freezing i faces i also face a very weird bug in whatsapp that i also talked about in my previous video that i was trying to send a message to someone and it is not showing me chat box message box whatever you call it so there are a couple of bugs again in this ios 17.4 now there are rumors that even there are that is confirmed pretty much that are not rumors it is confirmed by mac rumors that ios 17.4.1 is going to come soon apple is working on ios 17.4.1 because some of the people running ios 17.4.1 visited mac rumors website from where they claimed that apple is already testing ios 17.4.1 which is going to be a really good and expected date for the iOS 17.4.1 according to me honestly is going to be next week I, I'm not sure that Apple will come up with iOS 17.4.1 just after a week of iOS 17.4 so there will be like two week difference for sure so from that I can say that maybe iOS 17.4.1 is coming around 18th of March or maybe on 19th of March so these two days are maybe for the iOS 17.4.1 now let's talk about very important thing that is the iOS 17.4 battery life. Now battery life is quite decent. I have no issues with the battery life so far. I talked about that I am facing a bit issues with the battery life in starting but after that battery life is quite stable. It is really good. Although I wasn't much active on my phone as you can see over here and here I'm not much active. But still it's averaging on 7 hours 21 minute now let's see over here as you can see i used my phone 450 percent which is mean i used a lot and i got screen on time for 11 hours and 8 minutes now this is not a good one but the uh, reason behind that this is not good is the pubg mobile i played pubg mobile for 3 hours 41 minute and that is a lot and it consumed around 54 percent battery uh, of everything so yeah that is really huge now moving over here as you can see i used my phone around um you can easily say it around 70 percent and i got screen on time of 4 hours and 16 minutes again over here i was playing pubg mobile but i played a very less pubg mobile but still i it consumed a battery so here is a conclusion of battery life on the iOS 17.4 you need to understand this on the iOS 17.4 battery life is really good but battery life on gaming is not really good but in the previous version where iOS 17.3 or iOS 17.3.1 
battery life was stable overall and it was also stable for gaming so that's the big difference in the previous version and this ios 17.4 but i'm definitely hoping that ios 17.4.1 will bring a better battery life with the performance in upcoming days well that's it from this video i hope you guys like this video what do you think about this video let me know in the comment section below how the performance is going for your iphone let me know in the comment section below and i will see you in my next video until then take care peace out